So right. um, new for this year, which new, is which we, in fairness in the UK we've been waiting for for quite a long time. Again, yeah. with the uh, with the individual row shut off on the very very top. Yeah. Okay. This is the new nine meter Condor. Right. Okay. This Condor's, is the new Condor. Condor's been out for about fifteen between fifteen and seventeen yeah. years now. So this is Brilliant a time drill. On this one. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant success with it in the UK. Running normally the twelve meters that we've seen that have become quite popular. They are running around about 20, well, they are running 25 centimetre spacings. This is slightly different at nine metres. This is 20 centimetres. Okay. Okay, still right. perfectly capable of being into row cultivated if we want yeah. to. Um, but again, this is um, slightly different just in the way that we've got, well, we're showing the uh, the V-profile rear rubber rollers, 33, 30 mil rubber rollers on here. Again, trying to work on that pinching action. Yeah. Uh, this is also sporting our auto point on here. But yeah, individual row shut off in here. Three tanks. 60-40 with a 900 litre on the back. Right, Again. so that's very, is that tank configuration very similar to what we saw over there on some of the precision stuff? That is, that is the Prasir, baby, or the, what I call the baby Prasir. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Tractor unit, well, whatever you want to call it. That's but, it. Uh, Which yeah. is good for you guys from a manufacturing point of view. You know, you've got this chassis, you've got those tanks, changing the toolbar. I think a lot of people recognise it, don't they? They suddenly yeah. think, oh, well, look, look at that. That's, uh, yeah. that's the same as the Prasir. That's it, we um, know that. We know that. We can tackle this and away we go. <laughs> um, also, all the calibration is done outside the cab. Right. Okay, with our twin terminal, which is here on the right-hand side, all three hoppers. Perfect. Okay, so little Save room for uh, <laughs> so getting in and out of the cab. And I think Nigel showed you some of the, the uh, connect systems that we've also got, which is going to allow us to do um, more from outside of the cab from a, from a phone or, uh, uh, right, or, yeah. or from yeah. a... Uh, That's it, you get the Amazon app, you can just yeah be out here and get it tilled up and set up. So one of the things that's really, really worth just looking at, which again is, is relatively new, but been out uh, uh, about, well, has come out more in the Condor and obviously since the launch of our individual row shot off is, is Amatram, mm. or is Easy Tram, sorry. Um, and the idea of this is, of course, we can actually put in, no matter what direction we are traveling in, we can put in a no. tram line. Yeah. So, what, why, what's, what's driven that? Why would you want to be doing uh, that? <laughs> Plant numbers. I mean, there, there, there's a, there's a number of different things. Maze would probably be one of our more clearer ones, but slightly wider of spacings. Again, um, yeah. It, it, it's it's something that has grown in popularity quite quickly, especially with the erosion types that we get, you know, inherently in the UK on yeah. some of our banks. That's it. You know, so we can allow the plant to actually retain an awful lot of the moisture or retain an awful lot of the soil in the field right. um, so there's so quite an environmental yeah so if um, you're going uh, you know your tram lines are a different direction to the direction of your roads we get a lot more diffusion of yeah. water and yeah. like say retention as well yeah stop yeah. it just running down them tram lines yeah. <laughs>